Hi there, today we're looking into BODMAS, BIDMAS and PEMDAS. No, I'm not talking in a different language, I'm talking maths acronyms. BODMAS is one of the maths subjects that we receive the most queries about on the Education Quizzes website. BODMAS is all about the order of operations. In maths, there are two types of components, numbers and operations. Operations are the symbols that tell you what to do with the numbers, such as addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So what does BODMAS stand for? Well, as you can see here, brackets, orders, division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. BODMAS is an acronym used in the UK. PEMDAS is used mainly in the US. Uh, BIDMAS is used in the UK and other parts of the world. So are these all the same? Well, quite simply, yes. The acronym or the terminology may be slightly different, but the order of operations is all the same. Brackets and parentheses mean the same thing. Orders, indices and exponents, again, mean the same thing. So why do we need to know about the order of operations? Well, the easiest way to answer that is to have a look at a problem. If we take 13, subtract 3, multiply by 4 and add 2, you can arrive at many different answers depending on which part of the problem you solve first. But if we apply the order of operations, the BODMAS rules, it's easy to arrive at the correct answer. So what are the BODMAS rules? Well, as you can see here, step one, B is for brackets. If part of the calculation is in brackets, work this out first. And if there's more than one set of brackets, start at the innermost set of brackets and work outwards. Solving the bracketed part of the problem will give you a single number. Step two, O is for orders. These are squares, cubes, or any other powers. Work these out next. Step three, D is for division and M is for multiplication. Some operations have the same precedence and division and multiplication have the same priority. So work these out from left to right order in your problem. Step four, A is for addition, S is for subtraction. And these are the last thing to do. And again, work from left to right. So back to our initial problem, let's apply the BODNAS rules to calculate the correct answer. So step one, B is for brackets. Well, there is no brackets in our calculation, so we can move straight to step two. Step two is orders. Well, we have no squares, cubes, or any other powers. So we can move to step three, which is division and multiplication. So if we move to this part of the problem first, we've got the three multiplied by the four, which gives us 12. There's no other division or multiplication, so we can move to step four, which is addition and subtraction. 13, subtract the 12, gives us a single number of one. One, add the two, gives us an answer of three. So three is the correct answer. So now let's try solving a slightly more complicated problem, which we have here. We just need to work through applying the broad mass rules. So step one, B is for brackets. We have the three, add the four, which gives us a single number of seven. Step two is the orders or the indices. We have here a three squared, which gives us a single number of nine. Step three is division and multiplication. So we need to take the two multiplied by the 20 and divide by two, which gives us a single number of 20. We need to multiply the seven and the nine, which gives us 63. That's all the division and multiplication done. So we can move to step four, addition and subtraction. We need to work left to right. So we have 20, add the 63, it's 83, minus the six and add the 15, which gives us an answer of 92. So that's BODMAS. There are a few tips. Um, you do need to be methodical, work through the steps, don't take any shortcuts. And if you'd like to know more, check out the link below.